peace and grace A quiet, peaceful life for all my days Honestly, I can't complain Enjoy the mountains, watch the trains But the cowbells are driving me insane done a vlog in a while I've been very lazy not doing it and um, I've just also been relaxing and it's been oh so great past couple weeks I've had my oh I've been, mm, I feel like it's been like three weeks since I've had my store closed and I think that's the longest I've had it closed in a while I'm trying to rebrand myself kind of and uh, it's working out great. I've started a lot of things. So I ordered new paper for prints because although I like the one that I currently have because it's matte, I, I don't know, I feel like it should have a nice finish to it. And I thought this paper would be thicker, but it's not as much thick. But uh, I don't know, I, I like to also like feel my prints that I currently have on my wall from other artists. And it's like, all right, it's not, it ain't 300 GSM, but um, uh, It'll do, right? This is the first print I've ever done that's dealt with uh, my digital art. I never really print digital my digital art. It's usually just uh, scans of my um, traditional artwork. So this is a corpse thing that I did. You know how long I've been trying to get corpse to notice? It? I just give up, man. I can't. I can't wear fishnets for you, corpse. Anyways, it's not glossy, but it looks glossy. It's luster paper and I don't know I really like how it turned out I don't know how it'll look when I print my traditional artwork that is scanned uh, but I, I don't know I wanted to try new paper out and I like how it is also I got a cricket right there that's quads it's so cute so I, I, when I used that cr the cricket for the first time, I was like, this is crazy. I've always wanted a cricket and now I finally have it. But the only thing though, I didn't know that you had to pay like monthly for the cricket app thing to cut things. So I was like, <laughs> I have another subscription that I have to keep track of. And I'm just like, damn it, damn it. Let's just get to this vlog because I've been talking too much and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me talk a lot. Yeah. And my information is on the back. Probably probability won't help in the day to day. Unnerve me to see a bell curve or three while I'm just drawing away. Maybe it can help you see that this is not a fallacy. It's not noise nor an error. Oh, you belong.
So I made this like paper bag boy. I don't know what the fuck I was like go what I don't know what was going on in my head when I was making this, but like ended up liking it. I'm like, you know, let's make this a motherfucking sticker. How did this turn into this? problem I keep seeing with the tiny stickers I make is the alignment is kind of off. It's going more toward the left than it should be more in the center, but it is cute, I'm not gonna lie. In all the world there's only one girl like you. Else who does the things you do? Definitely like the original trilogy better than the previous. Dances in the light, full of color, the black and white. No other one like you. Oh, Bella. Oh, Bella. Eyes of clearest crystal blue ooh, ooh. A half moon for a face Not one spot out of place A perfect sleepy muse Oh Bella day I work whether it's one thing or another whether it's my printer or my cricket because I spent like the past hour trying to figure out why my cyan is just like I do like quality checks and it does this to me like 15 billion times because you have to do like a print quality check and it's doing that and I've cleaned it like about five times so I don't know if I have to fucking manually clean it <laughs> and I need to print stuff because it was working fine and then all of a sudden it just became dull and then I think it got better again but like what happened I don't know and then I tried to print I lost the thing but I printed like thank you cards to see like how it would work because I didn't want to waste the more sticker paper and it just had like those dashed lines going all the way through and I'm just like great I love that The one thing I hate about glasses, reflection, everywhere. You know, the one thing that makes me feel nostalgic when I eat or smell like a warm croissant is it reminds me of the times where I used to go to Burger King with my family when I was a little kid. In breakfast time, because they always had like those croissants sausage sandwich i don't even remember but that shit slapped and just every time i heat up a croissant it reminds me of that moment good old time when i didn't have to worry about anything bro look at that cloud 
isn't it so pretty i'm not getting up but if you could see it it's like pink and stuff anyways i went to um yard store earlier today with my brother and i saw this cute little ceramic uh terracotta pot thing and i was like what am i gonna use this for because i'm not gonna get another plant i can barely handle my other two but then i was like maybe i can use it as like a painting cup maybe a pencil shaving cup because i always have to turn to sharpen my pencils and so I finally finished my first like sticker sheet. It took me so long <laughs> to build up all the fucking motivation to draw the last uh, sticker design, which was a uh, this like jellyfish looking thing. <laughs> it's kind of more uh, detailed than the other ones, but we're not gonna discuss that. Anyways, I finished that for now till I can fix my fucking printer so I can cut stickers and such. But um, I bought this print head cleaning solution why do you sound so horrible whoa, whoa. i spent 250 dollars on this so i can hear shit Perhaps it would be a good decision to put on gloves. This shit, I think I, I may have cleaned it well. <sighs> I broke my printer. Well, uh, I haven't vlogged in a while, let's say. Ah, uh, almost a week, um, the last, before the past clip, uh, I was cleaning my printer, and I, I broke my printer. It doesn't print cyan anymore, and, uh, I tried to, like, fix it for, like, a total of, like, six hours within, like, two days and it just i have given up on the printer which is fine because i've been wanting a new better printer this is just a regular inkjet printer and but i made good use out of it but it was only it only lasted for a year so that was very very unfortunate and now i'm looking into a uh, better high-end printers but the only thing is i guess i waited too late i don't know um, all the printers that I want are either discontinued or out of stock. And I'm just like, fuck me. I can't continue working on my shop until I have a printer. I need a printer to, to get everything done. Wake up this morning I make the mistake of turning on the TV Nothing but bad news Empty ever news Rolling on the screen Oh I walk to the kitchen I make myself a, a cup of coffee Wave at the older man Getting a suntan on his balcony Oh Yeah, we both Yo, have been stuck in the upper end for two months Too long, we don't even get along Worlds fell apart straight out of the blue. So in my mind I whisper chow and I take myself to Tuscany, Italy. Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, a warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees. Tuscany, Italy. Eating carbonara and reading Machiavelli while the world ends. That's where I will be. So that color is kind of a, uh, you can't see it, but I, I can assure you that it's, <laughs> it's not what I want. So I bought this matte paper from Canon 
And uh, that's not the map paper. I wish. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Okay. So it's pretty thick. With this, I don't know if I want to also laminate the bookmarks because the thing is, I don't need to laminate um, my prints because it's essentially going to be on a wall or like on a binder cover. I don't know what you guys use it for, but you know. And the thing with bookmarks, you constantly use it because you're putting it to mark your books so you're constantly touching it so i used to sell bookmarks back in august and i don't know how they <laughs> how they held up because i don't read so i didn't really use them um but if i were to do this i don't know if i'm gonna just keep it like this um i don't know actually if, if it's thicker than the cardstock paper it's about the same consistency of the cardstock go back to my room I pick up on the laptop until during a work call I don't think Karen knows that she's wearing her sweatshirt inside out, yeah Water on my color flesh And I just might take a painting and read every book That I learned to cook from videos online, yeah, yeah We all have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long We don't even get along, but the world just fell apart Straight out of the blue, so in my mind I whisper child and I take myself to Hello. I feel like I don't know. Am I always talking in this vlog? Only editing Karen will know that. So I think I've almost finished every product thing that I've been working on, like designing wise. I wanted to get my Lunar New Year uh illustration out so that i can make it into a print but i don't want to stress myself and i feel like i'm not gonna end up liking it at the end so i'm i'm out the garbage we'll try again next year um but no i also like a deku uh bookmark type of design i don't know how i feel about it i like it but like my friend was flaming me for not putting a background I'm like it's just a bookmark bro it's not a full print um so that's, that's what I'm basically like kind of working on. Working on my store, getting everything ready. I still have to take a couple more uh, photo shoots of uh, my, my products. Uh, once I'm done printing everything, uh, that's when I'll do like, the bundle looking type of things. My friend will help me again because she, she's awesome. And so yeah, I've also been working on my store. Um, I, I'm moving I'm moving to Squarespace and from the experience I've been having with it with the trial so far, absolutely phenomenal. Like that, it's so freaking cool and I'm working on my portfolio right now on my site and it's so freaking rad. Like bro, this, this is wild and I have so much creative freedom to work on that. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, recommend it to you guys, at least it is expensive, but it's worth all your, your monies. So, not sponsored, but would I like it to be sponsored? I was watching, correct me if I'm wrong, Karen, uh, a Sun Tzu's, uh video yesterday. And it was like how how to create uh, stickers, or uh, no, like holographic stickers. And I always wanted to do that, but I just was never sure like how or like if it would ever turn out good because the sticker paper that i use is matte sticker paper matte waterproof sticker paper so it's like ooh, would it turn out good and she the way oh, like it was like the perfect timing because like i also thought about getting a laminating machine because i wanted to laminate these bookmarks but i was like always skeptical and then i had my friend say like yeah you should totally do it like i i would rather have a bookmark and like pay like six or seven dollars just so it can last a long time as opposed to getting something that's three dollars and it'll like tear wear out like in a matter of like a month or two so i bought a laminating machine and i'm so excited and i also got a laminating sheet so i can do that jazz and it's coming today and i'm so excited and this this will like give me like so much more things to do because I could also do like the holographic uh, stickers if I wanted to or even prints to be honest and I'm so excited for that but that's that's in the future uh, 
not in, not in the shop update there's already enough stress everything's done also i also learned another thing from that video thank you sunzumu you're so freaking helpful she she gave us like a a tip on how to make waterproof stickers more like actually like 100% waterproof. She used like some fixative spray for those stickers. So the ones she used and I also use is a matte waterproof sticker paper by online labels. And um, the thing I found out with that is it's not entirely waterproof. It's all right. And um, I was going to switch, but now that I saw this video, I was like, oh, wait, maybe maybe i'll keep it so yeah she just sprayed the nylon or whatever fixative spray on the sticker after she printed it and then she like tested it put it under water and it was totally fine the design wasn't wearing out the paper wasn't wearing out and i was like i need this <laughs> i need this spray so i need to get that spray sometime soon Big things happen in Unlicensed Care Bear's little studio, but it's actually her room. Care Bear out. <laughs> Tuscany, Italy, riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field. Yeah, warm wind blowing and birds are singing in Cypress I've trees. I've never been so content Tuscany, with Italy, eating carbonara and read Machiavelli while the world ends. That's where I while the world that's where I will be in Tuscany Italy tucked away far from reality I'll send a postcard to anybody it is a new day uh, if you couldn't tell from the last uh, clip that you saw I laminated these bad boys and they're looking kind of um spicy I, I'm like in love a little make home going on I just put lashes on and my contacts because I'm going to get my hair done again yay it's been like two months you know me i do my hair like every two months and i'm due for a new look it's short it's nice i like it if you don't want to see me dancing with nobody did a full 180 <laughs> Okay, I couldn't talk earlier because I had family around and I just I just feel weird when I talk and my family's here doing hot girl shit now. I've been doing hot girl shit. I just have to finish all my products for today. Print the stuff and we're on our merry way. <laughs> craziest thing happened to me so my snapchat got hacked because well actually first my one of my friends on snapchat got hacked but i didn't know and they messaged me they commented on my story and it sounded like oh, normal i was like um okay complimenting me on my new hair cool and then they were like oh uh, could you help me with something and all of this nonsense and it's like I, I just need you to tell me this code when you get it and it all sounded suspicious, but my dumbass still did it. And my I got logged out of my account and after that happened, I told my coworker about it. I was like, did we just talk on Snapchat just now? And she was like, No, my account got hacked and I'm like, Oh my god, I'm a dumb bitch. But luckily she got her account back through Snapchat and now I'm just waiting for an email from Snapchat so I can get my account back because even though I don't have photos or anything and you know they can't black blackmail me with shit like what are they gonna blackmail me? Fucking give me money or I'm gonna expose your hair like your artwork bitch it's already out. I'm just trying to get my Snapchat back. Oy, 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 oy. Welcome to another day of my life. 
still haven't gotten the Snapchat predicament down. I'm, I'm still hacked and it's quite unfortunate, but I'm stupid. So today I am doing a photography shoot, photo, a photo, I don't know why I said it like that, with my dearest friend. She was shown in the the vlog earlier, so we're getting that she had done, but because I got a new uh, hair, I guess, uh, she was like, yo, let's take a photo shoot, and I was like, I bet, and now I'm just uh, prepping myself for that, and I don't really put on makeup much anymore. I used to be like a hardcore makeup fan. I would like put on makeup like every day especially my first two years of college and I just like went all out and I really enjoyed it but then it got to a point where I I wasn't really fond of my skin because I've always had acne and I still have it but I've learned to love myself more with it but I'm still trying to get rid of it because it's fucking annoying but um uh, the reason I put on makeup wasn't to really express myself but to to hide my insecurities I shouldn't have to do that you know it's, people go through acne not everyone goes through acne which is like you know kudos for you I am unfortunately that type that percentage where I'm just I just always have acne whether it be one zit I wish I had the ability to just have one zit and then that's it like when people complain that they have one zit in a month and I'm like, I have like fucking 20 on a daily basis. What do you mean? So I just stopped putting on makeup altogether, especially once quarantine started to happen. Or yeah, when quarantine was happening or it's still kind of happening. I don't really understand it anymore. But once COVID started, eh, that's when I stopped doing it because I wasn't going out anywhere. I didn't go to school. I didn't go to work. And I was just like, all right, this is the time to fix my face. And i started using a bunch of new products so i can get better with my acne and that was the worst decision of my life because i just i there's i guess there's this thing called like purging and like when you try too many new products at once and i did that and i started to get bacterial acne and oh my god i had like such a bad experience with that and i had that for like the beginning of quarantine and it's like at least i wasn't like going out anywhere so i didn't really care but like the thought that like i was breaking out i was getting a lot of cystic acne it was absolutely horrible and it wasn't until like uh, once things started opening up again i had to go back into work and then uh I was like, all right, you know, I've had enough of this. I am going to go to a dermatologist. So I went to a dermatologist and they were like, all right, well, this looks like bacterial acne. So what we're going to do is prescribe you this medication and, you know, um, get that situated. They put me on it for like, I think a month. I think it was two months until my next checkup. And it actually it did help me like tremendously. And they also gave me this other thing, um, the La Roche Posay Effaclair. I don't know, some some acne medication thing which helps with bacterial acne, and that that also helped. And yeah, I've been on that like medication for like since August. It's January now, so like six months, and I'm about to go off it soon. So I'm still on the medication and I'm going to be off of it soon so that they can see like if it has improved and I don't know like if my acne will come back after I stop taking it which is like scary because then I'm like oh great I'm just like stuck like this forever and you know it sucks but you know it's a journey it's going to be quite a journey I regret you know using all the products it just didn't work well with my skin and now I'm here but I, through that whole thing, I really, I really don't care about how I look. 
and like how other people perceive me because it's like if you think if you're gonna like talk shit about my face like get the fuck out of here like who are you to be doing that like you think you're hot shit because you ain't and you think you're hurting me because you ain't because i already hurt myself for like 10 years talking shit about my own face and you know it's just like yeah acne sucks of course everyone goes through it once in a while and you know some people have worse and i don't think it's okay to like bring people down or you know like with uh media and like you know models and shit like they don't have acne and like these k-pop idols like they don't have acne false if you guys saw v's like v live like a while ago and he was like yeah i have this dot i i picked out an acne scar and oh wait no, i had picked on an acne and now i have a scar and i'm like yes <laughs> you still look cute boo i wish i had one acne scar but uh it's like everyone goes through it it doesn't matter if you're a fucking celebrity you they go through it they just hide it so well i'm not gonna be putting on foundation though because my skin is already bleh. so we're not gonna worsen that this tint is freaking lit it's a vivid tint water by oh it's in korean it's made in korea per peripeta it looks like a little milk car oh no it looks like a little milk car in it that's why that's the reason why i i got it or unless my friend got it for me and i know shane dawson is controversial but this was before he became a controversy and uh you know this this gloss still kind of slaps not gonna lie i found it the other day i'm gonna use that shit because i spent good money on it you know how many years this took me to get it on one try the eyeliner I had in middle school and high school is absolutely horrific. Long story short though, you know, wear makeup because you want to wear makeup. Don't wear it for other people. Don't wear it because someone called you ugly. Unless you actually want to wear it, you know? You do you. Some people don't even like wearing makeup and that's fine. People really like wearing makeup minimally or they like doing it like extensively which is freaking awesome like cool great congratulations and you know just do it for you and no one else that's the best thing you can do when putting on makeup and have fun you know i think makeup is just another way of expressing yourself and i feel like throughout the years it's just become this thing that's like you need to be pretty with makeup and i'm just like or it could just be pretty without it and with it because i feel pretty with both occasions but i'm, I'm fucking vibing with myself i'm vibing i'm vibing now i'm gonna work on more store stuff and yeah so we got this Deku bookmark and then we have this Yungi Dechuta. I just slapped myself in the eye, you didn't see that. So these and these Nanjun bookmarks and they're all laminated, freaking cool. These will be up in my store and I think I've got everything ready and down for my uh, pr the rest of my product photography, product photography photo shoot today and then i'm gucci i just have to continue setting up all the rest of my store actually my site in general and then i think that's pretty much it promote it and <laughs> that's that's it you know, um, <laughs> While the world, that's where I will be